about? You talked about after the game how important it is to build off the chemistry and the production you had with Tannehill Sunday. What does that look like? How do you build off of that? Is that something that starts in practice, and how do you carry that over to Sunday? Yeah, practice and in game, just consistency, um, being at the same spot, being able to be a reliable target uh, for your quarterback, uh, all our guys, tight ends included. Uh, really just urgency and getting to a spot and being able to be there for a quarterback. Robert, what do you see Thank out you. of this Colts team? Uh, fast defense all around, front seven, uh, guys in the secondary. Uh, experienced group as well with Gilmore and uh, Rodney back there. Uh, guys who play fast and hard to get after the ball. So this is obviously a big rivalry here. I know your first year with the Titans with this. The Titans came in probably five years ago. They could not beat the Colts. It's clearly changed in the last few years. How much have you heard about just the rivalry and you guys' number on them right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing it a little bit, but really, I, I mean, we're, we're just trying to treat it like it's another game. We know it's a big one and it matters, but we just got to play our play our game, be ourselves, go out there and execute our game plan. And uh, it, it's all about this one. Uh, we don't. It doesn't really matter what happened in the past. Uh, past few years, we just got to get this one. It's the most important. Kind of important still on getting that first one, right? Playing them two times a year, just getting that one. Yeah, it's kind of setting the tone. Uh, setting the tone for the year, uh, for our division, a few teams played. But uh, be able to get this one in for ourselves, uh, just set the standard for when they come here. How do you, Robert, how do you? Corners, Kenny Moore, Stephon Gilmore. Say it again, about those? What are your thoughts on the corners, Stephon Gilmore, Kenny Moore? Yeah, a uh, really good group. Uh, plays well, plays fast. Uh, Go after the ball, whether it's in the air or in the guy's hands. Um, smart, play sound football. Uh, I see that from the whole defense. Got an extra day off and you know, take care of the body and um, gives you momentum going into each week. You know, you want to continue having that feeling. That was the first time we felt that winning feeling this year, and it was a great feeling. Everybody was happy, smiles all around, and that's something we want to stick with because you know those losses, nobody enjoys that, and that's the worst part of the game to me. You know, I hate losing and uh, try to avoid that <laughs> as best I can because that's. I don't be in a good mood, man. I, you know, I'll tell y'all this. My mom texts me at every game unless we lose. That's all I need to know. She doesn't text you when you lose. Is that because she, she knows Yeah, she that knows that I ain't yeah. going to. Yeah. Because so I don't like being mean to my mom, but sometimes when she calls after a loss, what's wrong? What do you mean what's wrong? What do you mean what is wrong? So your sisters don't even remotely try to either? A couple hours we can talk. Maybe a day okay. or something like that. You feel okay. me? Yeah, yeah. I try to avoid that. Rashad, with the pass rush in mind, Colts are very good at not giving up pressures, but yet they surrender 12 sacks. That tells me somebody's getting beat quick. Is that an opportunity that you guys see as a pass rush unit? Yeah, I mean, we know that um, with these guys, we're going to have to assault the middle of that pocket. And um, if we if we get over, if we get in the pocket and um, work our moves that we've prepared all week, we'll be able, we'll have opportunities to uh, you know get to the quarterback and make plays and uh, try to get that ball out. And I think uh, also that plays into, um, like, like, like you said earlier, about Matt Ryan. You know, he uh, he's a vet, he's an OG, and he knows how to get that ball out quick. He knows where his checks are at, and he's going to avoid taking those hits because, you know, ladder in of his, of his career, you got to take care of your body and do, what it, do what's best for him. So he knows and can read defense as fast. So sometimes some of those pressures um, might not happen, you know, and those sacks happen when he holds the ball a little long. You know, his projections. Uh, just continue to work. Continue to come out here every day and get better. And when his number is called again, just be ready to, um, you know, take advantage of his opportunity. But he knows what he has to do um, to get back on the field. But just keep working. And when your number's called, be ready to compete and go out there and make some plays for it. How have you seen him handle that, though? Like, um, just what, what you guys are kind of asking for him, the improvements he needs Coach to Terrell make. Are you encouraged by how he's kind of responded? Yeah, he, he's, he's come out here um, every day and got better work and did everything we've asked him to do, you know. I mean, I, and I gave him an example. If you look at last year, you know, Elijah went through the same thing. Elijah molded and ended up playing. A, it's, we got a lot of games left, and he's going to play a lot of football for us, and meaningful football for us. Just got to stay ready and take advantage of the opportunity. Well, the matter kind of went wrong. You know, answering Cam, he was the starter, and he only played one snap. Like um, it's just, you know, I wouldn't say what went wrong, not going to get into details, but just, you know, just taking advantage of the opportunities when you get out there and being consistent. And that's what we, you know, demand of all the guys. So hopefully when he get his chance to get back out there, he'll take advantage of the opportunity and do the things that, you know, we want him to get done. Is it a matter of him being able to take what he's learning in the classroom on the practice field and making it translate to the game? It's just going out there and what shows up on the practice field, putting it on tape in the in the game, and he knows that. And that's just not Caleb, and it's not just about Caleb. It's just anybody that's in that room just understand. Like you know, when we get out there, we got to translate the practice field into the game.
With some of the X plays that have been uh, given, uh, have you seen like a commonality through the first few games? What kind of needs to be worked on to make sure you guys can clean that up? Well, we're in position to make the play. We got to make the play. We had a couple opportunities. You know, we played well the other night. You know, going into six minutes within the, you know, left in the fourth quarter, we give up a big, you know, fourth down play and a big play on 60-yard bomb on um, to Hollins, you know, and a coverage that we got to be better at. And we just got to know we got to clean that up, and we do. You know, we've been playing good good ball, but it's been overshadowed by some of the X plays. Get a big play on. In that receiver room, I know as a receiver, right, you get one-on-one -on -one coverage, man coverage, like that's right. a slap in the face. It's disrespect. How do you, like, get those guys to really kind of, you know, take that person the one they're facing those that type of coverage? Well, yeah, I mean, that's something that, you know, when, you, when you're in Pop Warner in high school and in college, it's it's that's something that's embedded in you. So you really don't need to do that. It's just a matter of taking the technique and the detail and doing it in a way that the quarterback can read it. You know, sometimes uh, if you're not careful, you might get open, but the quarterback has no idea what you're doing. We got to be on the same page as the QB uh, and make sure we're doing things that uh, that fit. Um, the scheme and what we're trying to get done. And what has it been like working with Josh Gordon? You know, he said that you have done a really good job like getting him ready. He's not trying to impose himself on the offense. He wants to kind of just find a role and fall into place. Um, you know, at, at the end of the day, uh, Josh has come out every day to, to work. Um, and uh, I, I think I think for me, you know, he's just got to continue to, to work on some of the little things um, that we demand out of our players. That's one of the things that's unique about this place is we ask him to do some things maybe that they haven't done in other places, uh, but he just has to get acclimated to that. Is there any kind of late, uh, but, but maybe just a little bit on, on trailing? How's the kind of the learning curve going for him, and, and how do you feel like his development? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with trailing and where he's trending. Uh, he gets better from week to week, and... Uh, and hopefully we can continue to keep stacking days and weeks together and, and uh, see what this thing looks like uh, at the end of the year.